In a recent test conducted in China, a particular electric vehicle demonstrated an astonishing charging capability, reaching from 7 to 50 percent battery capacity in just four minutes. This revelation was far beyond any personal expectation. We initially assumed that another major player in the industry would pioneer such an innovation. Yet it's clear that this new advancement has positioned itself as the best in the world. For a long time, it's been difficult to attribute such a technological lead to this company, but credit must be given where it's due. They have truly accomplished something remarkable. When we first heard about this breakthrough, we expected it to be extremely expensive. Logically, we thought the company would integrate this cutting-edge tech into their high-end luxury models like the ultra-premium Yangwang vehicles or their extravagant $200,000 SUV. That seemed to be the most viable business approach, ensuring this top-tier charging capability would be reserved for elite models catering to the wealthy. However, the reality of this technology's pricing left me absolutely stunned. The affordability of such an advanced innovation defies all expectations. Normally, when a breakthrough like this emerges, we associate it with brands like Porsche, BMW, or Mercedes, expecting it to be available exclusively at premium. One would anticipate that the cost of incorporating such tech would push the range into the luxurious echelons of the auto industry, perhaps something equivalent to a top-tier BMW 7 or a $250,000 high-performance vehicle. Imagine a scenario where a financially fortunate individual goes out to purchase the best vehicle that money can buy. They would seek a car that stands out, boasting the fastest charging speeds, unparalleled performance, and undeniably prestigious presence. Typically, such features are reserved for the more expensive automobiles. Yet here we are at this game-changing revolution. Uh, this uh, superior technology is available at an incredibly accessible price point. For merely 15% of what one would typically expect to pay for high-end luxury vehicles, this EV surpasses every Mercedes, BMW, Rolls-Royce, Audi, and Porsche currently available. This difference in technology advancement is staggering. There is simply no comparison. So why isn't this monumental achievement making headlines? Why is the mainstream media largely silent of the fact that for just 35000 in China, one can acquire an EV that outperforms luxury brands in tech and affordability? This isn't just speculation, it's undeniable fact. And now let's discuss the specific vehicle features that breakthrough vehicles like this offer. The Buhan L and Tang Lev models are two exceptional cars. While their horsepower ratings, 1,086 horsepower, might not seem revolutionary, when considered alongside the pricing, the value proposition is clear. These vehicles, available in either sedan or SUV, deliver an extraordinary level of performance for only 37000 Beyond sheer power, these vehicles are equipped with 1,000 volt charging, and this system supports 10C charging, equating to an astonishing 1,000 kilowatt fast charging capability. Additionally, they boast a 0 to 100 km an hour acceleration time of just 2 seconds, thanks to the new Bid Blade battery version, too. These specs mark the dawn of an entirely new era in electric mobility. It's important to acknowledge that the Bid has now joined the ranks of the high tech pioneers in the EV space. Previously, brands like Xpeng, Zeker, and Gak were making headlines with their incredibly fast charging solutions, such as Xpeng's revolutionary charging speeds and Gak's golden brick battery. And now, Bit has firmly established itself in the elite category, as they deserve recognition. This technological advancement plays a significant role in accelerating the demise of internal combustion engine vehicles. Why would anyone choose to buy a gas-powered car when an EV can be charged to a usable range in five minutes? Yes, some might argue that 1,000 kilowatt fast charging are not yet widely available, but that's changing. We've spoken with industry insiders who confirm that ultra-fast chargers, including 450 kilowatts and even 1,000 kilowatt stations, are already in development and expected to roll out in various regions, including Australia. While skeptics may dismiss this progress as irrelevant due to the current scarcity of such charging stations, the reality is that infrastructure development is moving at an impressive pace. The transition from gas refueling convenience to EV fast charging parity is happening sooner than many expect. Furthermore, the implications of this breakthrough extend beyond individual consumers. Fleet operators ride-hailing services and logistics companies stand to benefit immensely from ultra-fast charging. With reduced downtime and increased operational efficiency, businesses can optimize costs while contributing to a more sustainable future. The ability to recharge a high-performance EV within minutes opens up new opportunities in the industry. Another major advantage of this development is the reduction in battery degradation concerns. Traditionally, high-speed charging has been linked to increased battery wear, but advancement in battery management systems and thermal regulation have significantly mitigated these issues. Companies like BID are integrating smart charging to optimize battery longevity. 
The introduction of a thousand kilowatt charging infrastructure also signals a broader shift in global energy networks. Governments and private enterprises are investing heavily in energy capacity grids, renewable energy storage, and decentralized charging to support expanding EV ecosystems. Countries that adopt these ultra-fast charging early will likely experience economic advantages, attracting investors and positioning themselves as leaders in the clean transport sector. Ultimately, the pace at which EV tech is evolving renders many old arguments about mass adoption obsolete. Concerns over charging times and infrastructure are fading rapidly as innovation accelerates. With automakers like BID pushing the boundaries of what's possible, it's clear the auto industry is on the verge of complete transformation. The question's no longer whether they'll replace ICE vehicles, but how soon that transition will happen. The Buhan L, one of the models incorporating this tech, is a sedan roughly the same size as a Tesla Model S. Measuring approximately 50,050 millimeters in length with a wheelbase of 3 meters, this ensures ample interior space, making it an appealing choice for those seeking comfort. One of the most impressive aspects of this car is the 1,000-volt electrical architecture, the highest voltage EV platform currently available. This feature enables the Blade Battery version 2 to achieve ultra-fast charging. The base model is equipped with 83.2 kWh LFP battery, which is available in multiple configurations. The standard range version offers up to 701 km on the CLTC cycle, translating to an estimated 580 km in real world. However, the most remarkable feature remains its 10C charging capability, which allows it to add 400 km of range in just 5 minutes. This charge rate is comparable to refueling at a gas-powered car. Performance-wise, the vehicle utilizes a dual-motor all-wheel drive system, with rear motor producing 508 kilowatts and just the front motor contributing an additional 230 kilowatts and a combined output of 810 kilowatts. It boasts a top speed of 305 kilometers an hour, an impressive feat for any vehicle, let alone an EV. Interestingly, the rear motor can spin up to precisely 30,511 RPM. In terms of pricing, the rear-wheel drive version starts at $37,000, while the all-wheel drive tops out at $48,000. Given its capabilities, the price is groundbreaking. The competitive landscape within the EV sector is evolving. Take the Xiaomi SU7, for example. Initially, it was believed to be a dominant force. However, BID's latest offering provides a compelling alternative, making it a legitimate rival to the SU7. Also, the Zikro 7 and the Xpeng P7 Plus are also strong competitors. For those who prefer SUVs, the Tang L offers a similar technological package, but with additional practicality. This seven-seater SUV maintains nearly the same length as the sedan, but benefits from the increased interior volume of the SUV design. At this moment, the Buhan L and Tang L represent the fastest charging EVs available. The fact that they achieve this level of performance and luxury at such an accessible price is nothing short of revolutionary. Furthermore, BID has significantly improved interior design quality in the latest models. These cabin materials and overall aesthetics have taken a substantial leap forward. BID's long-term strat seems clear. They're investing heavily in the next-gen Blade batteries. There will be two versions, one optimized for fast charging and another designed for max energy density and range. The Buhan L and Tang L utilize the former, allowing for near-instant charging speeds, while future models may incorporate high-energy density versions for extended driving range. Ultimately, these developments highlight the rapid progress of EV technology, bringing us closer to the future where gas vehicles are obsolete. With infrastructure advancements and increasing availability of ultra-fast chargers, the widespread adoption of next-gen EVs is inevitable. What are your thoughts on this breakthrough? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 